Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some more Assetto Corsa. It's been about a week uh, since my last video. About a week ago. Ten, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, but <laughs> it's been a week since my last Assetto Corsa video. And I've kind of, you know, neglected it a bit. Because when, in between last episode and the episode before that, I kind of done some practicing in, in between. But in between this episode and my last one, I haven't touched it, which is kind of annoying. Um, I wanted to get into this game a little bit more. Um, maybe I should jump into some servers when I'm a little bit better. That will probably get me more involved. Um, but for now, I'm not really, not really on it that much, which is kind of annoying. Uh, maybe I have to do a few more of these episodes, etc. Um, just so I get back into this, because I'm kind of neglecting this game a little bit. Um, I'm just back on Drift Park. Very simple track. Um, reason I came back onto this track, because I knew I was going to be sloppy at this game um, again. Because I really needed to just get on this game and practice on it. But seeing as there is like Horizon 2 out and stuff like that, I don't want to solely just play this game. So... Okay, I just went full concentration mode and actually pulled off a drift flow. Like. Okay, now I'm out of the lines. Oh god. And relax. <laughs> okay, that first corner was quite sick though. I was quite happy with that. Okay, okay. Uh, we're back in the Nissan um, S13 again. The same as last episode. I just thought I'd stick with one car. Uh, just so I kind of know the physics of this one car. Uh, maybe in the future we could choose another car, but for now, while I'm practicing, um, I'll just stick with the Nissan S13. Uh, it's a very nice car. Uh, very nice drifter. Um, but yeah, this track, I just find it so simple. It's a very nice practice track. Like with these little chicanes, you practice your transitions, but then with these little corners on the end, you're practicing your long, kind of flowing corners, which I really like. There's a nice. Um, Nice kind of like it's not it's not a big track, but it doesn't need to be because it's got all the key aspects you need basically. That's what I was trying to get across there, <laughs> but it wasn't really working. Okay, so I've got I think I've got that first corner down, doing that quite sick. Um, and another thing, live for speed. I don't know if to try it out, would you guys want to see some lift of speed or would you see me practice on it or stuff like that because obviously lift of speed is apparently like probably the best drifting simulator out there so I don't know if I should just jump into it um, but let me know what you think I should do there because I, I kind of I kind of want to play it just to see what it's like um, in terms of comparing it to real life. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about that, because I don't know if to start recording videos, but if you guys want to see it, then why not? Why not? I keep going in with a lot of angle into that corner, and I can't seem to carry my speed through it, so I've got to tone down that angle on that last corner there. Coming in a bit fast. No, we got that. We've got that first corner nailed, man. Absolutely nailed. Throwing it into that second corner as well. Oh my days. Oh. Okay, tone down the angle, tone down the angle. There we go, we've carried it through the whole corner. And put the back wheels on the t on the on the grass there, so that's good. We carried the speed through the corner. Oh god! Yep. <laughs> wow! I was going in like a wrecking ball, man. <laughs> there was no way. There was no coming back from that. I was going in like a wrecking ball, and that was that. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys are actually enjoying a set of Corsa. Um, very nice game. I uh, don't know if you guys want to see me grip race on this game or not, or maybe just like driving up a up a, like a hill climb or something, kind of trying out different cars like Honda Civics, um, just different models or something. Wow, I kept the angle and kept the speed through that corner then as well, so that was sick. 
Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think on that as well. I'm letting you guys know. <laughs> letting you guys get involved a little bit here. Letting you guys get involved on these decisions. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'm going in with a little bit too much angle into that first corner, but seeing as I did have that first corner nailed down, um, I don't see why not practicing maybe with a little bit bigger entries. So I'm going to continue trying to get those bigger entries in there. Wow, we carried the speed through there. Oh, 360! Yeah, 100%. I meant that 360, yo. <laughs> killed it. <laughs> Absolutely killed it. So that was beast. Um, I didn't really mean to spin out then, but seeing as, uh, seeing as, oh my god, what have I done with my wheel? Oh, okay, I'm in gear one. No wonder. Oh my god. Um, but no what <laughs> When I first started that 360, um, I didn't mean to. I just kind of went in with a bit too much angle. Uh, but when I saw that I was spinning out, then that's when I got corrected to a 360. It kind of, kind of came out quite well actually. I think it's because we built up a lot of speed from this section here that we had enough speed to just pull that around uh, so that was good um, cut the corner yo why not why not cut corner yo <laughs> so yeah this is fun I uh, really love practicing on this game like even even offline it is very good to practice on here we made it around the corner I uh, don't know if any of you guys that drift on a set of Corsa, um, what cars do you use? Because I'm using the S13, I like the physics in it, um, I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't really want to stray away from this car, uh, but if there's ones kind of with better physics or maybe, sorry I looked away then, um, but if there's one, uh, one with better physics, um, similar uh, physics along these kind of lines, um, I will check those out. So if anyone does play this game, um, please let me know what cars you use, um, which cars you like the most, and stuff like that. Because it would be nice to get a few more cars in my arsenal right now. Because um, using like the S13, you might get used to it a bit too much. So when you go to like another car, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit weird. So let me know if you do a play a set of Corsa or you do drift on this game. What cars you use? Um, if you run setups as well, because on this car I don't run a setup. I just change the force feedback, and it seems absolutely spot on. So. Let me know about that as well. So that's three things you guys got to let me know. Uh, let's give this one more run. Uh, should we try a bigger entry than normal? Okay, it didn't really turn out how I wanted it to. Yep. That was a beast entry, yo. Yeah. Did you just love how sick that was? Yeah. Do you know what? Let's straight line it down here. Let's try and do. Let's try and do a big entry down here. Oh my god, that was terrible. I, got, I didn't really know where the corners started. Like, I knew it started after that chicane. But I couldn't work out where it actually started. That was really weird. Okay, we're flying in. We're flying in. Easy jet. Easy jet. Oh, we had the right speed then. I just went in a bit too much angle. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll just show you my car quickly. Oh god, not that button. Oh god, you're looking at my feet. Don't get away from my feet. Um, so, yeah. Using that car right there, um, Nissan S13. Looks absolutely beast. Uh, very nice car to drift with, so hope you guys check out the car. And yeah, I don't know what all these cameras are, uh, but let's go back to this one. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want to see more of this, um, give this uh, video a thumbs up. And if you want to get involved in this, maybe on a server or something, let me know about that. Um, maybe add me on Skype and let me know on Skype. It'll be a little bit better than YouTube comments. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.